All right, let's uh, grab this mic here. And so you you played a fantastic match. There you go. Yeah, get, make sure you get on screen now. So uh, <laughs> very nice. Yeah. Okay. And so basically, you're saying you love it when you have balls in your mouth. I love having blue balls in my mouth, sliding uh, down my throat. All right. Oh All right. Here we go. <laughs> I like having blue balls slither down my throat. All right. Beautiful. All right. Well, um, I, I have to ask because uh, not everyone at Quaquan probably knows who we are. Do you ever watch our live stream? I think I've seen one before, okay. but I'm very interested in coverage. Okay. So cool. I, cool. I like that aspect of it. All right. Yeah. yeah we actually do. Uh, the King of the Hill event is something that we started uh, right around the time that we went live and the community loved it, so we do it uh, literally every Wednesday at 9 p.m. So if mm -hmm. you ever want to play again, we do it online. The first hour is open to the entire community, and then we have like a, basically a guest list of like, for the past, I mean, we've won 12 of them so far, uh, and for the past 10 or so, we've had Rafa, Chance, Destruct, you know, all the big North American names. They show up because they love to play. Right. Um, and of course, it's a chance for them to you know show their stuff on the live stream and all that kind of stuff. So um, it's, it's always fun to be able to pump it out to the masses. And um, so what we'd like to do is, since it's QuakeCon, we want to do something kind of special. So we're doing King of the Hill one each night. Okay. All right. And what we'd love to do is on the last day, we're going to try to set up a time and get that published and all that kind of stuff. Um, you know, up, up here, the, the Texan Gamer guys have got a projector. They're trying to schedule everything. Um, where we're going to do a King of the Mountain. So basically the winners of each night of King of the Hill will then play against each other in a King of the Mountain. So we would gotcha. like you to come back on, uh, on Saturday okay. and, uh, and, and duke it out. So um, We're going to post the times yeah, later. Yeah, we'll, we'll try to get that to both the info desk. They've got a Google Calendar and also the Texan Gamer. They're set up right here. And um, but so tell us a little bit about yourself. Like, do you play any uh, any like comp? Are you like what clan are you in that type of thing? Um, my clan is Gaelic Gods. Okay. Uh, Dias on D I A S on Game Surge. Okay. Um, it's actually a clan arena clan. Okay. All so right. um, I mostly play clan arena, and then I tried getting into duels a little while ago, and you know everyone's so good that it. It's intimidating at first. It really can be, yeah. So after now I've played two or three hundred, I'm just getting to the point where I can at least, you know, somewhat hold my own in a certain situation. Right. So, okay. Um, but, yeah, I'm pretty new to dueling. I've been playing Quake since February, since uh, I, uh, I found out about Quake Live and, and signed now, up for that. Now, had you ever played Quake 3? I didn't play Quake 3. I actually played, um, I played the demo at school. Okay. We would land at school All right, okay. while we're supposed to be working. So, I, I, Trust me, I, I understand. His, I, I basically went through college on Quake. Like uh, Quake 1 came out the year, like my freshman year. So need, needless to say, my grades were not that good. Right. Because I, I was Quake studying or quake, something. I don't studying know. Quake. Studying yeah, duels. Exactly, right? exactly. Demos. And yeah, it was actually back in the day, um, I, I would play Capture the Flag when... There were no flags. It was just the keys. Capture the keys? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> and, and there were no symmetrical maps. It was just like E1, M1. Okay, that's a CTF map if you put a key on one <laughs> end and a key on the other. Hey, there you go. There you go. But yeah, no, we, we loved it, though. I mean, it was... Um, I, I got... Most of my friends at the time were all StarCraft, uh, rather WarCraft 2 players. Yeah. And I, I converted them all. See, I was a... Every uh, last one. I was Counter-Strike player. You can boo that's me. Okay. No, that's all right. That's all right. <laughs> I was CS for five years, and because you've clearly I've converted. Seen the light. Yeah, there converted. You go. Exactly. All right. All right. Yeah. Well, I picked it up, and I signed up online, and I was horrible because it's so much faster. Um, and, you know, there's no recoil or anything like mm -hmm. that to deal with. Right. And I was pretty bad at first. Once I caught on, I tried going back to Counter Strike one night, and I couldn't do it. I yeah. couldn't move around. I, I felt it, like a it, snail. It annoyed you. Yes. Right? Yeah, <laughs> it was okay. annoying. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> now, now how, how did you learn uh, to move? Because that's actually one thing that players have a hard time with, especially coming from a CS background. Right. You know, learning the difference between bunny hopping, which is wrong, and strafe jumping, which is right. 
I really, like when I first started out, I would do like CS bunny hops and just hold forward and jump, 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 jump. But um, I really don't remember. I think it's a thing where, you know, people are, people talk about it. They're like, oh, you're strafe jumping or whatever. And you see the trick videos and you're like, you know, how you do that. Right, and right. And then I looked up, you know, a couple tutorials online that I can't think of the exact ones right now. Sure. Well, there's just, like uh, 80 of them. So yeah. All right. Just do that. And then I watch videos. Um, and then luckily they came out with that uh, practice map. Uh-huh. And oh, that, yeah. that helped a lot. Uh, the, uh, um, was it Razor? What, what, what's his name? I'm not sure. The one they put in the oh, the, the, the practice the, area. The, okay, the built-in one. Okay, because that's actually there's another. Okay, because there's another map that you have to do a little. Uh, I did. Voodoo. I did someone see someone playing that, and I want to get it. Yeah, and it looks and a lot more. Advanced. Yeah, and it's well, it's basically designed for uh, trick jumpers. So yeah, and it's it's the kind of thing where you will learn how to strafe jump yeah, to the point you have to. Where yeah, where. Where yeah, if you make one wrong step or don't get the exact acceleration, right. you don't even make the first jump. <laughs> See, the, the one thing that I can't say I missed, or I, I miss, but I would like to see is um, I, I would see demos of people with the uh, the Quake Three thing telling them which direction they're pressing, how fast they're going, like the G force. Uh, okay, right, right. And I try to do that in Quake Live to kind of you know be able to test my mm -hmm. abilities. The, the biggest problem I'd have with the Quake Live training and everything is that it kind of shows you how to do it, you do it, and it's it's somewhat simple. So if you can do that, you really can advance further. Right. So I'd like to see that implemented where you can see your speed. Okay, Cause, yeah. Because I, I don't, I'm really not that good at moving yet, because mm -hmm. I, I run into a lot of walls, <laughs> and right, I, right. I, uh, I do my mouse the wrong direction sometimes, like when I'm going just because I'm frantic. Sure, sure. So, yeah. It'd be nice to see something where I could actually progress and, you know, see some kind of movement. Okay. So, yeah. That's my suggestion. So it, hopefully. Yes. You know. Yeah. Listen to this guy. When I actually, uh, while you were playing, we had uh, Timo from Mid Software uh, shoutcasting alongside. So. Oh, we had a shoutcast. So, yeah. 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 Do I get to watch this sometime? Uh, yeah. Actually, yeah. Yeah. Um, we are uh, using, well, we're using a mixture of Justin TV and Ustream. Uh, we've had to use Justin TV because we had some issues with Ustream earlier. Uh, so yeah, we are um, everything is archived. And on top of that, like Justin TV, the quality is you know online video stream. Uh, but then after QuakeCon, because I doubt we're gonna have the bandwidth to upload everything here. Right. Um, because we're we're pretty limited. <laughs> it's pretty bad. Uh, yeah. But but we are taking high quality VODs of everything, and we're Sweet. going to have that available. Oh, that's gonna be exciting. So yeah, I get to see myself. <laughs> make all my stupid mistakes as I watch back. Well, and, and, and the neat thing is, I mean, one of the things that uh, a lot of our viewers like about the shoutcasting is that we have, um, you know, feedback while, you know, while you're playing, and a lot of times you get, I mean, I, I, don't, I don't consider myself uh, that great, but we usually have um, co-hosts who are, like, really good, and, um, or at least, at least we try to, yeah. and, um, and so, you know, they, they might, you know, critique this or that. And, of course, I know. I mean, I I would say I'm kind of like an armchair pro because I had a roommate uh, throughout college who was, like, really, really solid. Right. Um, like, you know, went went to tournaments and won money. So you kind of knew everything he did, just couldn't I, I just do it? I couldn't do it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, so, you know, that's sort of where my, like, you know, armchair expertise comes from. And then, of course, a lot of it is just, uh, you know, watching better players, seeing what they do. Yeah. And, so I but, picked up most of my tricks. And, and so, yeah, exactly. And so, and so, you know, hopefully uh, some of the comment, like I know Tim was offering some commentary about um, some of the decisions about um, maybe tightening the timing. Yeah, on, yeah. On, on, on some of your play, my because, timing wasn't very good on that map. Well, just FYI. Well, <laughs> well, because because like we saw, for example, that a lot of times um, you would get full control and then lose it, and then you would focus too much on the frag. And you would still you would corral your opponent to where you want him to go, like to the weak side of the map, basically. Right. But then you wouldn't go get the other resources, <laughs> and then you'd stick around a little bit too long, and that would give Let a chance for your good. opponent to get behind you, yeah, and, and get that resource. It's funny you say that because the one thing I noticed when I play is I, I may be doing it subconsciously, but I I don't feel like I take advantage of like the spawn kills like I don't chase them down when I have the opportunity yeah that, that, so that too like that's one of the biggest things 